Hello everyone and welcome to the return of the Midweek Mentor. I am so excited that we're gonna be starting this up again. Tiffany and I just cannot wait to bring you content and some devotionals and some lessons here on YouTube and Facebook. We're so excited to be able to do it again. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Elliot, pastor at Lifeline Church, and we are gonna be starting this back up. It's gonna be so much fun. Before we jump in, I'd like to remind you to like, comment, and share on the various platforms that you're using. It really helps get the word out. And plus, we can interact. So. I'll be watching this later as you're watching it so that I can interact with you. If you have any questions, drop them in right away. And I would love to interact with you on that. Or if you're watching later after it's published, you can always drop a comment and we'll get to it and we can discuss it um, later. Today's message is called, Who is God? Who is God? This is a, a little series I prepared a long, 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 long time ago, but it has to do with the fundamentals of the faith of Jesus. And it starts like this. Week one, who is God and he loves and forgives you is, is the first thing about God we really wanna know and understand. He loves and forgives. So listen to this out of John 3.16 as I find it in my paper Bible. I know, like what is this thing? I'm so used to reading on my phone these days. But John 3.16 and 17 goes like this. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. No matter who you are, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're facing, God loves you. It's, that's his nature. It's who he is. That's what this, that's what this midweek lesson is called. It's, this is who he is. It's his identity. He is love. So of course, he loves you. The biggest lie that you could tell yourself is that you've gone too far, done too much, that to somehow avoid his love, to somehow get away from his love. It's unavoidable, unescapable. Of course, we can sin and separate ourselves, and we all have, from his love. But like one of my favorite songs says, there's no place his, his grace won't find me. All I really need to do is, is turn to him, that whoever believes in him, will not perish. That's what the scripture said. Whoever believes in him. I mean, I've cheated, I've stolen, I've betrayed and deceived and done all sorts of horrible things, yet God still gave his son for me, and that's exactly what he did for you. It's who he is. It's it's number 1 about who God is. Can we ever get enough of the fundamentals of who God is? I don't think so. Jerry Rice himself actually became a pro, became a Hall of Famer because of his constantly, constantly running the route, running the play. We cannot ever get enough, truly, of, of just knowing the fundamentals. Yeah, we can grow deeper in his love and we can grow deeper and, and understand more fully the different aspects. But I tell you this, we can never be too strong in the things that God majors in, the, the major ideas. We cannot be too strong in these things. And, and number one is he loves and forgives you. It's, it's number one. So number two is this, he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, uh, let's jump over to John 14. John 14, and let's start off in verse six. And let's see what it says here. This is Jesus speaking, um, red letters right here. Jesus told him, he's speaking to his followers. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. What that means is, in our culture today, there's, it's, it's almost against the law to tell anybody they're wrong about anything. And sure, I, I understand the heart behind that. I understand that. Um, it's not as important for us to 
um, debate about the minor details about, of, of, of government, of politics, and we see so much of that, and 99.9% and .9 of it is just nasty and unnecessary. But Jesus is not afraid to, to cross that non-confrontational line and say, you know what, guys? It's through me. It, it's through me. It's not through Buddha. It's not through Confucius say. It's not through fill in the blank. Jesus is saying, if you want to get to heaven, if you want to, if you want to inherit eternal life and be forgiven of all sin, it's, it's really through me, guys. It's through me. And, and Jesus makes that plain as day. Not, so not, not Buddha, not Mohammed, but not even a really good preacher. Good preachers aren't the way, the truth, and the life. They lead people to the way, the truth, and the life. Only Jesus is the one who gives us eternal life. Now, now hold on just a second, because many people can help you in your faith. If you're already following Jesus, there's probably someone in your life that is like a mentor to you, like a like a serving in a role as like a as a guide or instructor and let me just tell you those things are awesome those people are awesome and are really irreplaceable god uses those people but god is saying that it's only through my son jesus that one inherits eternal life that means my allegiance has to first be to jesus and then everything else gets filtered in through that like in, in my life, and I'm a man of recovery myself, and so I've recovered from drugs and alcohol and these kinds of things. And there's lots of people in my life that have helped me, counselors, pastors, mentors, sponsors for me. But above all, I need you to seek a personal, solid, intimate relationship with Jesus because that is first and foremost. Did I tell you we're talking about fundamentals today? <laughs> Number one of the midweek mentor, follow Jesus first and follow his word. Now, a little bit about me. I got saved and for about two years, I wasn't connected with a local church. I wasn't connected with, and I really didn't have a solid foundation, but I, I was saved, you know, but I still had the smell of smoke all over me. But it's not until you really identify with your relationship with Jesus, that things become, and it, for me it was two years later. So I gave my, I raised my hand in church. And for the next two years, I, I was kind of muddling through until I finally, finally began to understand that my identity is in Christ and I need to really forsake some other things in my life. So for two years, I didn't really know, saved, but I realized a little bit later that I needed to forsake some other things in my life. I needed to give some other things up in my life. And that is because those things were getting in the way of my relationship with Jesus. And that included some people, yes, and some things and some substances and some choices and some luxuries, but I had to give some of those things up because my relationship with Jesus just had to come first. I encourage you today, everyone, to, to do the same thing. If there's, if there's anything that's getting in the way of your relationship with Jesus, go ahead and give that up. Go ahead and give that away because first and foremost, we wanna live for Jesus and live with Jesus. So my last point is this, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Now this is, this is so crucial. I could have started with this, but I wanted to start with I wanted to start with those other scriptures, but Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2 is going to be in verses 8 and 9. 8 and 9 goes like this. Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. God saved you by His grace when you believe. Remember, this is you don't have to be perfect. You, you don't have to be perfect. He, got, he saved you by His grace when you believed. You can't take credit from this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so no one can boast about it, for we are God's masterpiece. I'm just reading on through verse 10, actually. We are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. It is a gift. The, the grace of God and the fact that we don't have to be perfect, that's the gift. That's the gift. So, so Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. 
and, and God truly loves you and forgives you, and the fact that we don't have to be perfect, when we make mistakes, that we can come to Him freely and say, God, I have, I've kind of blown it in this area of my life. Now, that is the, one of the greatest gifts that we can ever have, is that even if we fall short, He welcomes us back. And He doesn't throw us out of the family if we make a mistake. Come on, anybody happy about that? I'm happy about that. Being a Christ follower is more than just following a bunch of rules. Granted, there are, there are lots of things that we should and shouldn't do. I mean, if you're a Christ follower or not, there's, everyone has sort of a code that they like to live by that's just their set of standards. I have not met anybody in my whole life, Christian or not, that doesn't have some sort of code that they live by, some, an honor code, or you know, you don't snitch, or you don't do this, or you don't do that, or you, you always honor family, you know, whatever. But we, as a Christian, you know, that, that honor code has been written for me. But the beauty is this, if I stray from that honor code, if I, if I make a mistake and, 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 and come back and say, God, I, I blew it. I didn't do what I said I'd do or I didn't do what your word said I should do. God says, hey, hey, that's why I sent my son to die for those sins. So you can come back. You can. It's not a bunch of rules. It's not just living by the rules and the better you live by the rules, you must be a better Christian. It's, it's making mistakes and learning from them through God's word and growing and that, that's what we call sanctification, it's being sanctified, being made clean over a period of time, and we just get better and better as we just come back to Him and, and, and know the fundamentals even better. If you can make it, no, let me put it this way, if you can make it a whole day without sinning, without, without breaking, I don't care if you're a Christian or not, breaking your own honor code, eventually you will. There is nobody who has uh, done perfectly by anybody's anybody else's standards or by their own standards. We break our own standards. <laughs> it's just our nature. Is that we, we, we can't you give anybody a rule, they'll break it. The, even the simplest rule, we'll, we'll, we'll break it eventually. And that's the beauty of God. That's the beauty of living for God. That's the beauty of being a son and daughter of the Most High is that our Father in Heaven, He welcomes us back. He welcomes us home. It's a wonderful thing. I hope you enjoyed week one, who God is, and we're going to continue to break down some fundamentals over the next couple weeks. Tiffany might even jump in and join us. Remember, everybody, like, comment, and share this content, whatever platform you're watching today, either YouTube or Facebook. Be sure to subscribe on our YouTube or, or share and like the, like the page on Facebook and leave those comments. You know, we go back and look at those and and we want to engage with you in this online era when everybody's staying home because of pandemic zone. We want to be able to engage with you. We want to be able to interact. And so feel free and I encourage you to, to comment on, on these if there's any questions or just, you know, or if you like it, you know, hey, liked it. Hey, I didn't like it. You know, you, can, you don't have to do that. But either way, we want to interact with you and we love you. And let me just pray for you before we're done. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for everybody who's tuning in, sound of my voice. I pray blessing over them, and I pray that we would grow deeper in our knowledge, love of you. Pray this in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, we love you, and we will see you again very soon.